Hello Temples, my name is Caitlin Copeland and I will be attending Thomas Nelson and today the story I'm going to read to you today is When God Made Light. Let there be light. That's what God said, and light began shining, and it started to spread. It flickered and dashed, it blinked and it flashed. Light poured and light spilled, it bolted and splashed. Light glared and it gleamed, it flared and sparked. And wherever light shined, dark stopped being dark. In the beginning, space became bright because God filled it with sparkles of yellowish white. Bright stars gleamed, swirls of light streamed, and in that once empty space, a galaxy gleamed. When God made light, a universe lit up, a dazzling display of big shiny stuff. And all of that, every bright golden hue, is the very same light God put inside of you. Now God made the sun to light up our days, to cover our plants with life-filled rays, to make summers warm and winters not too cold, to help flowers bloom and turn wheat fields to gold, to burst in the morning at first crack of dawn to rise up slowly and beam across the lawns. And when the sun shines, here's what you should do. Go run, have fun, play a game maybe too. Go skipping or flipping or slipping down a slide, sliding. Or if too hot in a pool, go dipping. Dance in the grass, go climbing in trees, build castles with sand, face the wind, feel its breeze. Eat berries and cherries in a patch, pick strawberries, or whistle out loud with the chorus of canaries. And once in a while, when the playing is done, look up at the sky and thank God for the sun. And when the light fades and a day ends too soon, Wave goodbye to the sun and say hello to the moon. Yes, God made the moon to brighten the sky's night, to reflect the, su the sunshine in our world's nightlight. But beneath a dark sky, there are things you can do. Bring mommy or daddy in a flashlight or two. Raise a tent, go camping through the woods, stamping, romping, and stomping on paths made for tramping. Catch fireflies in jars, go gazing at stars. Try counting and see how many there are. See constellations, shapes, and formations. Find a lion or a bear amid heaven's creations. Sing songs round campfires. Make marshmallow s'mores. Let grandpa tell stories. Wage flashlight wars. Now when God made light, God made diff all different kinds. Some sparkle, some flares, but all light shines. It flashes and bolts when lightning is crashing or bursts through the sky when a comet is dashing. And if you ever feel scared in the darkness of night, remember the shadows are no match for God's light. Climb into bed, sleep soundly and dream, and know that inside of you God's glow is a gleam. Cause you're just like the sun and the moon in the sky. As lustrous it sparkles that dazzles the eye. 
You are splendid as lightning when it flashes so bright. Because on the day you were born, God said, let there be light. So beam like the sun, gleam like a star, and wherever you go, dark will stop being dark. Shimmer and shine like a beacon so bright, because God, when God made you, child, God made light. Well, that's it, guys. What do you think of the story? To me, it makes me think that there's a light in every single one of us. Now I'm going to tell you a Bible verse today. Now it was time to forgive him and comfort him. Otherwise, he may become so bitter and discouraged that he won't be able to recover. Now, I'm going to say a prayer. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Thank you, Lord, for this day. And thank you for giving, putting a light in every single one of us, giving all the potential in the world. I pray that all these kids have a bright future and that everyone around them is protected from this virus. And I pray that the, even this virus that's going on, it's not going to stop these kids' future. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys.